Hey, my name is Johnny Duker, and um, a little bit about myself. I was born in Ghana, West Africa. In 1989, I moved here when I was 12 years old and really did not know anybody. And soccer was what connected me to the community. Uh, after going to high school at O'Hara, I got a scholarship to play at Missouri State. Uh, playing at Missouri State was uh, something that I was very, very proud of because um, most kids um, don't get scholarships to go play at the next level. So it's, it's difficult to, to think that, hey, your parents are just going to shell out a bunch of thousands of dollars for you to go to college. So soccer was really the, the thing that paved the way for, for me to be able to get a, a college education. And that was the only thing that was important to my, my mom at the time was for me to get a college education. And soccer was the thing that was going to uh, get me to be able to have a, a college education. So I really appreciated the opportunity that Missouri State gave me to play there and graduate with no debt. But, you know, obviously after college, tried to play so soccer at the next level, got injured, and then my college coach, uh, Jeremy Allenbaugh and John Leamy, I'd helped with a lot of camps. So my coaching career kind of started with me coaching camps, being a camp counselor, and then helping the Springfield Soccer Club start uh, the club in Springfield. In 2001, I made the decision to move back to Kansas City, work for the Legends. After a couple of years of working for the Legends, decided that I uh, was going to get um, a job outside of, uh, of soccer, so I was going to stop coaching. Well, one of the teams that I, I coached at the Legends um, decided, hey, they wanted me to continue to coach them on my, uh, at the times that I was available. So I started working for Allstate Insurance Company and then coaching uh, one, one team part-time as I could when my schedule uh, allowed. And so really that's how Kansas City Soccer Club started was a bunch of parents that wouldn't let me stop coaching their kids. Um, so that after that following year, we had tryouts and more kids came out and then had to add a couple more coaches and kind of snowballed um, from 2006 till now, you know, we've had as, and as many teams as 22 teams and um, had a lot of success winning uh, State Cup, playing our regionals, had some teams playing in the MRL, had some teams playing in the National League, so loads of experience uh, coaching kids at all levels um, throughout the, uh, the many years at, uh, at, at KCSC. Really looking at where we are today, the decision to come to TOCA was not a decision that was made overnight. Um, a lot of thought went into it, a lot of research went into it, and, and so looking around at, to other clubs and, and really talking to some other coaches, um, really figured out that Toka was doing a lot of things that we do at KCSE. So I started talking to Kevin and some coaches that are at, um, at Toka to find out what they're doing outside of just what they, um, what they provide as coaches to Toka FC. And I started having these conversations about, hey, what's, what's Toka City? What does Toka City provide for, for players in the community? Uh, I happen to attend church in KCK, so one of the things that I always do is uh, during uh, vacation Bible school, I run a soccer camp and program through my church. And so when I found out that Toka had a Toka City that caters to kids in the inner city, to refugees and things like that, well, it really reminded me of where I came from and how I got to play so got to play soccer in Johnson County is because somebody friended me, somebody helped me um, really get connected through soccer. So looking at some of those kids and really seeing myself and a lot of those kids really made it something that was near and dear to my heart. And I remember the days of being a kid moving here from a different country and not having the ability to um, integrate so is easily and soccer was the thing that connected me to uh, the rest of the community. You know again just was a no-brainer for me and I really um, feel privileged to be able to join TOCA to help grow the inner city game. I'm ex 
I'm really excited, as if you can't tell. I'm super, super excited to be to be joining Toka, and um, I'm ready to get it.